All right, so we get some reassurance that Michael Pittman Jr. will definitely be back in 2024. This is something that has been on Colts Nation's mind for the past couple of weeks, the past couple of months. You know, when are we going to resign Pittman? When are we going to give him the bag? Because he deserves it. Look what he has done for us. And then on top of that, you don't want to ruin the momentum that we finally, finally have going in the receiving room since Reggie Wayne and T.Y. Hill. And Reggie Wayne was in his twilight. And then, you know, T.Y. Hill was taking the reins. Now you got... You know, you haven't had two guys like that in a while. Now you finally have two guys that you can trust, two guys that can make big plays. You have Pittman. We know we can rely on Pittman. We know who he is. We know he's going to go make big plays. He's getting better at route running every single year. His hands are incredible. And then you, on the other side, you have Josh Downs, the steal out of North Carolina. He's like a little fireball, man. He, amazing separation, solid hands, really speedy, really good athlete. We finally have some some momentum in the receiving room, getting a couple of guys that can go and make a couple big plays for us. So let's not ruin that. Let's make sure we resign Michael Pittman Jr. And that's something that we that has been on all of our minds for the past couple months. We're like, Chris Ballard, Colts, Shane Steichen, why isn't Pittman resigned yet? Why isn't he locked down? He's concrete. Why? Wh wh where is this guy's bag? You know what I'm saying? This guy, for the past four years, has made – Play after play after play. And I just think this is a guy that you should have locked up by now. You should have had him locked up before this season, I would even say. And if not, in the middle of the season, and at the end, at the very latest, instead, you're letting it go right down to the wire. Kind of like when you know you have an exam or a test the next day. and Or, or you have a test in two weeks, and you're like, nah, I'll wait to the day before to study and then go in and just pretend you're going to do it. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Now, weird analogy but I'm just saying you need a this should have been done this should have been worked on this should have been already done a while ago because you're giving Michael Pittman Jr. the ability to think about it to lean on it to just let it stir in his head you know like oh you know if the Colts aren't going to resign me soon should I maybe just test this market and maybe see if the Chiefs with the Patrick Mahomes or a Bills with the Josh Allen would offer me around the same, maybe a little less, but you're going to go to a team that has an incredible quarterback. You know that that quarterback is incredible. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, maybe even another place if you can name it. Man, don't tell me that Michael Pittman wouldn't be attractive, but we've heard from Pittman many, many times that he is loyal and he is going to stay in Indianapolis and he wants to stay in Indianapolis, but sometimes, sometimes that money can you know, can change a player's mind really fast. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 I think you guys know the saying, money talks and BS walks. But, yeah, the Colts should have already had this done. I don't understand why they're waiting. I don't get, I don't understand any benefits. You're letting them wait. Just get your man locked up. Get the guy locked up. And, you know, make sure he's yours for the next three to four or five years. I don't care how long. But we know who he is. We know he's consistent. How many players have we had in the past couple of years at the wire? No, let's go the last decade at receiver besides T.Y. Hilton. We've, we, you know, you could throw a couple guys in there who had a couple big games, a couple nice stretches. Dontrell Inman had a nice stretch. You had Dante Moncrief. You had a couple of other guys in there, but they weren't anywhere near what we have now in Pittman and, and, you know, and then you have Downs. You know, point is, this should have been done. Get this done ASAP, Chris. Shane Steichen, push him. Someone come, so, so, come on. Someone get this done, please. We don't want to wait any longer. We don't want him to be, you know, because if you think about it, you know, if Pittman hits the market, as he said, he doesn't want to leave Indianapolis, but why not leverage an asset? Why not leverage something that you have? Why not leverage an opportunity? You know, if you're going to go out to the market and say, this team's going to offer you 22, this team's going to offer you 26, and then that's forcing Indianapolis to offer 27, 28. So instead of paying 20 to 24 million, maybe a little more than 24, I think he should be paid 22, 23, somewhere around that ballpark. But I'm just giving you an example. You got to resign him, you know, and if you let him hit the market, the price is going to go up. It's going to bump it up because these other teams are going to be offering, hey, Pitt, you want 26? Come over here. Hey, Pitt, you know, maybe a desperate team, one of those small market teams that want to find a receiver, they're desperate for a receiver, that's, hey, hey, we're going to offer you 31 mil, 30 mil. Crazy things like that happen. The Jaguars paid Christian Kirk 19 a year, and at the time it seemed like a big contract. It was a big contract for receivers, one of the highest paid receivers. 
how fast time goes. Yeah, crazy. And how fast money goes up. Yeah. But I'm just saying, man, uh, I, I I don't know why the Colts haven't had this done for a while yet. Get them done. ASAP should have had them done months ago. You know, I would have thought at least, you know, in the middle of the season towards the end. But no, because he had a great year. He had a fantastic year. He was healthy all year long. And, and do you want to know something else about Pittman that I absolutely love? You know, all these big receivers, all these receivers that make big plays, he's a contested catch guy, they're consistent, they're healthy for the most part. A lot of them are divas. A lot of them stir up drama in the locker room. Has Pittman ever done that? I think he might have said something once when he was a little, like, agitated and just, I think it was last year with the Mount Ryan year, but it wasn't, like, a big episode that dragged on for weeks and weeks and weeks and there's some kind of underlying cause, like, he can't play. You know, like the, you know, like some... So, some players will act like they have an injury. They'll make it look like they have an injury and they'll be put in the injury report just so they don't have to play. Pittman has never caused any significant issues. Never really caused any minor issues. He owned up to it when he did. A little a little mishap when the entire team, to be quite frank, was frustrated. The entire fan base was frustrated. They didn't want to watch football anymore. I'll be honest with you. That year with Matt Ryan, yeah, that was hard to watch. Could you imagine playing in that? Yeah, that'd be pretty tough. That'd be pretty tough. But you know what, man? Resign Pittman. That's all I got for you guys today. I want to keep blabbering, blabbering, blabbering. But that's my take on Pittman. And, you know, should the Colts have signed him sooner? I don't know why they're taking so long. I don't know why they still haven't signed him. And, you know, well, we're about 12, 12 days away from free agency. I don't know when the period is to when they could, when teams can start talking to the players. I think it's maybe like the fifth. Something like that, maybe, maybe later, maybe the eighth. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure myself. Let me know in the, in the comment section if you know. But hey, that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate you guys for sticking around, watching this video. It's been a little while since we posted. You know, I had to take a little break. Um, I have, um, I've gotten better. With that. I don't know how many times I said to this throughout this video. I'll see when I'm editing it. But yeah, man, that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate you guys, and we're back. 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 And it's good to be back. I'm not gonna be as hardcore as I was before. I'm gonna just gonna be a chill casual fan i'm not i'm not I'm, I'm not gonna go all hardcore and watch you know 12 you know watching 12 hours of tape doesn't directly relate to you making a you know it it no it doesn't directly re, it doesn't directly relate to future success you know and you know it's just what it is but so i'm just gonna chill out watch the games watch some news here and there and make a couple videos like maybe a couple videos a week but yeah, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in. I'm officially going to stop blabbering. JW Sports Talk Show, signing off.